I think it's hard as a black woman because a lot of the times when you hear conversations about mental health or mental illness, you don't see black faces. My name is Augustina and I have experience with the first episode of Psychosis. I had a happy childhood. Um, I was so in love with dance and music, so you could always find me dancing in front of the television. I think it was around grade seven or eight where I just noticed my mood wasn't, it just wasn't it just wasn't right. So my mom actually took me to the doctors and the doctor was like, well, we've done blood tests. We don't really know what's wrong, but could you be experiencing depression? And that was the first time I had ever heard that word. And my parents were like, depression? Like, what does she have to be sad about? She's like, grade seven, she's not working. All she has to do is focus on school. And, and so I kind of just like brushed it off. I had just moved out west. I had a new job. So I stopped sleeping and then I was staying later and later at work. So I wasn't really eating properly either. Um, and then I started hearing a voice and then the voices just kept getting stronger and stronger. And I knew something was off. One day I went to work and I just, I couldn't handle it anymore. And that's when um, my coworkers were like, okay, we're gonna take you to the hospital because we think you need help. And so like, I actually feared for my life at that point. And it got to the point where I was actually extremely suicidal. When I came back to Ontario, that's when I got put into the early psychosis intervention program. And that's when I had more of an understanding of what I was going through. So me actually reaching out for help, I was scared that people would think that, oh, you're just not strong enough. You need to deal with this on your own. Um, and that was really hard for me. And so I decided that I wanted to share my story because I knew that there's other people that are probably going through what I've gone through. And I wanna change that stigma, especially in the black community. I think a lot of people assume that if you go through psychosis, that you know your life is over, and that's not true. So if we can actually empower these individuals to talk about their experiences, it actually will change the world. CAMH has created a variety of opportunities for people like me to be able to sit at the table with other scientists and researchers and use my lived experience and bring my thoughts and ideas to the table. The fact that you're donating and you're bringing your dollars to CAMH means that we can actually pour more resources into research. That means that we can make a change. We can have a better world where we have healthier children, healthier adults, healthier youth. We will have a world where mental health is not stigmatized.